So uh, my name is Chris Parker. I'm with uh, Fujitsu, uh, business development in our cloud marketing team. Uh, I'm here today to talk about the uh, relationship between SUSE and Fujitsu. So when they asked me to speak about this, uh, I am a uh, collector of comic books, so much so that my oldest son's name is Peter Parker. So it occurred to me, let's do an old style team up. Right? So we're going to talk about our relationship with SUSE, how we've teamed up together to bring solutions to the OpenStack market. So we're going to talk about um, monitoring, why you would want monitoring as an end solution with your OpenStack. What is Manaska? Why would you choose an enterprise class Manaska supported by uh, companies like ourselves versus the open source version? And then talk about this team up, this relationship between Fujitsu and SUSE. So monitoring today. So it's absolutely critical. It's no longer nice to have that you're able to monitor your OpenStack environment. Recent changes in the cloud deployments, you've got scale, complexity, ever increasing, hundreds of thousands of nodes, VMs, containers, things that need to be monitored. It's imperative now that those things be monitored with a, a solution. Speed enables innovation. And what I mean by that is the more we move on, the faster this becomes. So you can now spin up an environment within seconds. And that environment may only last a couple of hours, a couple of days before they take it back down. Um, unlike the old style bare metal where you're using that hardware for years and years. Okay? In those cases, you need to have that monitoring to continue to see what's happening in those environments, who's using those environments. And finally, SLAs. So anyone who has customers who have SLAs that they have to meet for those customers, you understand it's a requirement to have that fine grained monitoring so you can really supply those SLAs and that information, those metrics out to your customers. Thwip. <laughs> so what is Manaska? So Manaska is the official monitoring solution of OpenStack. Okay, it's an open source, obviously. It's multi-tenanted, fault-tolerant, monitoring as a service solution. Okay, and I think the key point is it's architected from the beginning to be horizontally scalable. So all of these nodes and all of the containers and all of the VMs of OpenStack, you want that horizontal architecture. Right? A lot of old monitoring solutions go deep, but they don't go wide enough to cover all of the different components. Uh, high availability, high performance, all built in from the beginning. Biff. So, other things that it can do, it enables you to monitor hundreds of thousands of virtual machines, containers, as we've talked about. The monitoring data can be stored uh, either online and in a retrievable form. And it's a dynamic self-service, so users can easily add new resources themselves and monitor them independent of other people's dashboards. So using open source Grafana, you can build heat maps, bar graphs, um, create your own dashboards. There's an alerting engine, a notification engine that brings that stuff forward, all to allow you to do the complex analytics that you would want from a monitoring tool. So then the question comes in, okay, we have this open source Manaska project. Why would I want to pay for this tool to get it from a company like Fujitsu or SUSE? And there's a couple of key reasons. <clears throat> we talked about SLAs. Okay, you want the expertise of the companies who have been involved in building this. And you'll see in another slide how involved SUSE and Fujitsu have been in the creation of Manaska. Simplified installation okay, and deployment. So there are a lot of nodes that need monitoring. So doing that in, on your own is complex and it's time consuming. So using one that's got a pre-installer, it goes out, puts the agents where you need them, you know, pre-built, ready to go. Templates. So if you use the out of the box Manaska, you have to go and create your own dashboards, your own views. Um, 
with a enterprise supported version, templates come with it. So you've got preset dashboards, preset metrics that you can then use right out of the box <clears throat> as soon as it's ready to go. Improved documentation, no surprise here. A lot of the open source products documentation could use some enhancements. So we take that documentation, we make it uh, a little more detailed. And key feature here, input on future deployments and development of the product. So you're talking to companies who have done 50% or more of the code in, in these products. So your input is going to give us feedback on where we go next with the tool. And lastly, a company like Fujitsu, you have integrated hardware and software solutions. So we have bare metal, we can uh, put that into a, an appliance. Um, we also, our other software is already integrated <clears throat> with the Manaska tool set. So those are the key components of why you would want to move forward with a product supported by a company. Okay, so why Fujitsu and SUSE? So I pulled these off the Stackalytics uh, as of Friday. <clears throat> you can see from the commits perspective, Fujitsu and SUSE combined about 43% of the commits in the most recent Pike version of Manaska. And then reviews, uh, HPE leads the way. Fujitsu is right behind with 38. SUSE at 12. Combine us together, that's 50% of the reviews in the current product. And then if you've noticed in the news recently, uh, a lot of the HPE resources are being acquired by SUSE. So you're going to see an even bigger shift uh, of the amount of uh, input and collaboration into the product itself. So that's part of the reason you want to move forward with companies like ours. So we've teamed up. We're working together, collaborating to bring an enterprise-ready product to the market today. So I want to invite Mark Smith from SUSE up to talk a few minutes about the product we're putting out. Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Perfect. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for inviting me up to say a few words uh, about uh, how Suja are working with Fujitsu. I'd like to take a moment or two to talk about a new product that SUSE announced this morning, uh, and it's SUSE OpenStack Cloud Monitoring. Now, this is based on Manaska. We're going to keep with the superhero theme a little bit here. Why do you need a, a, a new, scalable, enterprise-grade monitoring solution? Well, you probably don't meet, need me to tell you that the logs and monitoring in OpenStack can be horrendously complicated. Now, the reason for that is in the latest um, user survey from April for OpenStack deployments, it showed up that uh, three quarters of the OpenStack deployments are using between six and 11 OpenStack projects. Now, that means that each one of those projects is producing uh, monitoring and log data, reams of data. How do you manage to bring that all together into one location? Well, you almost need a, a superhuman product to do that. You actually need some x-ray vision to see below the surface. Or you need a single dashboard to do it all for you. So, Suja OpenStack Cloud monitoring is giving you those, those deeper insights into what's really going on in a Suja OpenStack Cloud environment and also uh, in the associated workloads. That's really the intention. Now, SUSE is a, an open, open source company. So we're all about collaboration. So the fact that, that Chris was talking about a community delivered solution works beautifully for us. And working along with Fujitsu uh, and others on Manaska um, is producing exactly what's needed to fill a gap. So here's what you get with the product. You get, first of all, scalability, high performance, uh, reliability. You're actually getting a fully scalable enterprise-grade monitoring solution for a multi-tenancy, uh, large OpenStack cloud environment. It's making it easier for your, your operators and users to see what's happening 
inside the product, inside the infrastructure. So helping you to monitor and manage health and performance, deliver reliability, uh, deliver on service level, so it's all about making sure you have uptime. It's also about reducing costs. It's about making things simpler, easier to manage. Bringing everything together into a single console so that you know what's going on in your OpenStack cloud. So this is really a, a good example of OpenStack, open source super he, uh, heroes assembling together to produce a Monasca product uh, that really does fill a gap for users uh, and for customers. So with that, let me hand back to Chris, and Chris would like to talk to you about some of the Monasca sessions that you can attend during the summit this week. Chris. So we have a couple other sessions going on around Monasca if you're interested in the, in the open project. Uh, we have three sessions happening over the next couple of days. Uh, the Monasca team has actually asked, uh, if you go to the Monasca wiki page, there is a uh, questionnaire, short questionnaire about monitoring and needs for monitoring. So if you want to have input on product direction, uh, go to the website and, and look at the uh, questionnaire. And then uh, come by Fujitsu or Suse booth. We have a, a virtual reality game that we're going to be uh, showing. You can enter to win a drone. Uh, you can come by the Suse booth. Uh, they have a scratch card that you can uh, enter to win prizes. And if you wonder where those booths are, uh, Fujitsu is at D2 and Suse's booth B6. Anyone have any questions? If you want to stick around, Fujitsu has another presentation up next talking about our K5. Uh, cloud, which is based on OpenStack as well. Thank you very much.